The next time I hear somebody say romance novels ain't feminist, I'm gonna smack them in the face with this. Life hack. How to be the best romance writer ever, step one. Be Courtney Milan. For every woman whose name has disappeared without recognition. Not even the first page, and I already knew this thing was gonna be fan -tastic. Damn, woman. And hot. I just spit. And hot hell, I was right because oh my god. Our girl Violet is a super smart scientist. But because she lives in Regency land, that's a no-no. So instead, this chick uses her intelligence to outwit society with her BFF as her front man. Her brains, his gender, bam! Society is fooled and it's all good until we fast forward five years and Sebastian wants out. That's your plot. And oh yeah, Seb Boy's been in love with Miss Scientist since childhood. That's important. As one might imagine, I had all of the feels because romance and Violet. That combo was like best. I don't know why I did that. Violet isn't just a square in a town of rounds because of her brains. That definitely doesn't help, but mostly it's her arm's length personality and the fact that she's never really been shown love before by anyone. And that makes her an outcast. This girl is forced to hide everything she is. Nobody knows she's smart. Nobody knows her. I keep everything hidden because there is nothing about my true self anyone likes. I'm not difficult, Sebastian. I am the easiest person around. I don't belong, so I spend all my time pretending that I do. Oh, my bleeding heart! This is a girl who stashes her science articles in her fashion magazines. She's genius and she's heartbreaking. Plus, she's got one of the most tragic marital backstories you'll ever read. And trust, it's probably worse than you imagine. I know it was worse than I imagined. This woman's shitstorm life has made Violet tough and hard. Which makes her romance with Sebastian way last tons more heartwarming. Even though she is determined to play keep away. Stupid heart. I won't have it. Nobody controls my muscles but me. <laughs> Ain't she great? Her wonder casted booty makes her hard eyes for Sebastian all the more compelling. Courtney Milan establishes a palpable OTP connection hella fast. It takes most authors chapters to do what Milan did in just 18 pages. Plus, it also helps that the hero is super grand. No, really. I realized years ago that having you as a friend wasn't second prize. It wasn't something to chafe against. It was an honor. Praise you, sir! Seb telling friendzone bitching fuckboys to pipe the hell down cued my fangirling. Yet brilliantly, Violet's the one who chafes at her self-imposed friendship dynamic. And no, it wasn't the hero's magic wang that changed her mind. Thank god. Although his wang is pretty magical. Instead, it's her scientific breakthrough that is the catalyst for her own self-discovery and personal acceptance. Hashtag romance novels are feminist. Romance novels are feminist. Romance novels are feminist. And I ain't got no chill. Her breakthrough allows her to finally realize that her desires and her thoughts and her opinions don't make her selfish. Which is super feminist and cool and all, but I also loved it because it led to the cutest cuteness ever. I wanted to swipe all the plants off the table and take you there. Not my plants. God, I love that nerd. She's nerdy and I love her and she makes my heart go yay. This OTP had so many laugh out loud moments. Like literally, I was holding the book and going ha 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 ha. Except maybe a little bit less creepy. Their rakish genus classification conversation, their not elephant seduction talk. It's so funny! Excuse me while I lay on the floor laughing holding my stomach from all the funnies. <laughs> I swear I busted my gut during both of those scenes. Sebastian's a joker who wants his loved ones to laugh. And as such, it gives him a pretty interesting internal conflict. These two have such similar issues in that both of them want to be respected for their talents. Seb by his bro for his math skills and Violet by hell anyone for her science skills. But alas, he is a carefree jokester and she's a vagina owner so that ain't gonna happen. 
happen. They both also have equally shit siblings. Benedict the Dick and Lily the Leech. Seb's bro is patronizing and Violet's sister is a user. And damn it, these book feels hurt. These two share in not only their ruse, but their own personal private hells. Then there's also the itty bitty conflict about how they're both madly, passionately, undeniably in love with one another. I like that too. Cause when a boy does a symposium on a girl's flower namesake, you know his hard eyes are real. Hell, this whole book is real. When Violet's marital backstory and her mother's role in it was revealed, my heart got an owie. I was on the floor crying for the rest of the 20th century because damn girl, this girl could give the Spanish Inquisition a run for its money. That whole plot was like a ninja punch to the face with a feel fist. Violet is unquestionably the book's star, while Sebastian is the solid rock upon which the story is built. And quite frankly, the Countess Conspiracy is all the proof we could ever need that romance novels should be taken seriously. The role of women in history and science, the importance of self-love and family. I just, God, if you don't read this book, I'm gonna be sad. Fat and girl feels need to be experienced by all of the humans. So go forth and read it, please. Ah, oh, this book was so good. There were so many facets about the story and characters and romance that I just loved. I'm getting fangirly excited all over again. I didn't mention this in the review, but one of my favorite aspects of the OTP, among a million others, is the fact that they created their own separate space inside of their world. Like the greenhouse or the converted gardener's room. Like, that that was so romantically brilliant. Romantically brilliant. I, I think that accurately describes this book. I know I don't normally post two historicals back to back week to week, but uh, I had to get this in because The Countess Conspiracy was the alt pick for the Vaginal Fantasy Romance Novel Book Club. And I don't normally participate, but how could I not with Courtney Milan? She's Courtney mother flippin' Milan. Of course I had to participate. I cannot wait until I hear the girls talk about what they thought. I really, 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 really hope they read the alt pick because it's good. The main pick's really, really good too, but still. Definitely go check out the Vaginal Fantasy Book Club. Thank you guys for watching, and now I'm gonna go fangirl detox. Insert witty outro here. Mm. I'm so strange.